So this week we're in Mombasa and we're conducting a specialised investigation training course with uh, police officers from the Kenya Directorate of Criminal Investigations and their counterparts, prosecutors in the Office of the Director of Public Prosecutions. The objective of this training is to bring together police and prosecutors to work on a case in a safe learning environment uh, around human trafficking and people smuggling, particularly around the trafficking of young children. Together with the prosecutors, we were taken through um, several programs or through skills such as interviewing suspects. And we actually got to do a simulation on inter interrogating of suspects and interviewing of witnesses and, vi and victims. This specific mentoring skill has actually shown me a behind the scene of what happens prior to me getting the actual police file. Because as a public prosecutor, you hardly uh, realize how and the lens that the police and investigators have gone to capture the said uh, investigation and what you send them to inquire about. So I have gotten a behind the scene, yeah. So it's given me a more, should I say, empathetic view towards the police. X, elimination swabs taken from Miss Mercy Otieno, police exhibit reference number X. So raising awareness on trafficking itself uh, for our counterparts, but also investigating um, a scenario where a child has been trafficked also enables them to understand the complexities of dealing with children in these types of cases, the unique victimology of survivors, and how best to manage those cases throughout the entire criminal justice process. One of uh, the ways in which I think this will add value to how I keep children safer or do my job better, to ensure that I don't ignore things. It will give me an, a, a bigger eye, a bigger, a greater knack for detail. Uh, because uh, some of the skills we learned, like uh, online investigation or intelligence collection, will help me see beyond the obvious. And that way, we can, uh, when we are taking uh, perpetrators to court, we can always charge them with the harsher penalties and be able to bring them to book and send a strong signal to people out there to keep the hands of children. Increasing inequality, conflict and climate change are forcing people to move from their homes, making them particularly vulnerable for exploitation by criminal networks who lure them in with false prospects. And as UNODC, we recently launched the Global Trafficking in Persons Report, which shows that in Sub-Saharan Africa, there has been a 12% decrease in the number of victims detected. And our goal is to work alongside police and prosecutors to increase the detection, investigation, and prosecution capacities um, to combat this crime. And remember that the ultimate objective is to really create a safer environment, especially for children and vulnerable individuals. One of the things that I'm really going to take with me is the fact uh, that I have appreciated uh, the effectiveness and efficiency that can come about when we work together with prosecutors as a multi-agency uh, caucus in dealing with uh, human trafficking issues. Thank you.